Hello to everyone, good afternoon, good morning, or good evening. It is the D.O.U.G. here, and it's time for my picks for this week. Um, once again, we're not doing it with Madden because of the fact that I have to, as many of you follow me on Facebook and Twitter, I had to restart everything over. Um, so there won't be me giving out the score spread this week. Um, let's take a look at what happened last week. Uh, Rams made the comeback being the Ravens. Bills got my lock of the week correct as they beat the Falcons. Bears destroyed the Giants. My upset, one of my two upset picks was correct as the Bengals did beat the Chiefs, which not too many people called. Unfortunately, the Dolphins lost to the Titans, eliminating the Dolphins' chances of a playoff spot. Raiders beat the Colts, uh, making this Sunday game against the Chargers a do-or-die. Winner goes in, loser goes home. Uh, Patriots beat the Jags. Bucks beat the Jets, and I will be discussing the Antonio Brown thing. Eagles beat Washington, and then, of course, the railing fell. Okay. Chargers beat the Broncos, like I uh, setting up the game against the Raiders to be important. Niners beat the Texans. Saints beat the Panthers. Cardinals beat my Cowboys. Seahawks destroyed the Lions in what could be Pete Carroll and Russell's last game at home for the Seahawks. Packers beat C the Kirk Cousinless Vikings, because Kirk Cousins was out. And the Steelers in Big Ben's last game at Heinz Field beat the Browns, giving the Steelers' playoff hopes still a chance. So I went 12-4. and four. And for the season, I'm 157, 94, and 1. Now, a few things with the playoffs situations. Dolphins are eliminated. Browns are eliminated. Baltimore and Pittsburgh can still go in, but Pittsburgh's got to win and get lots of help. Baltimore's got to win and get lots of help as well. Um, as far as for the NFC, the last spot left is between the Niners and Saints. If Niners win, they are in. If Niners lose to the Rams and Saints win, Saints go in. By the way, the Niners do play the Rams this week. And the Saints play the Falcons. Let's keep that in mind. Um, of course, all, all, there's first place on line in the AFC. If Titans win, they get it. If Chiefs win and Titans lose, they get it. Patriots and Bengals can still get it, but they need a lot of moving pieces to go around, more or less. Um... And, of course, Colts can still win. If they win, they win the spot. Uh, Raiders and Chargers, one of that gets the playoff spot, yada, yada. So here we go. Uh, there are two games on Saturday. The first one is the Chiefs against the Broncos. I got the Chiefs winning that one because uh, they are trying to play for the number one seed. I think they're going to want They're gonna have all the starters playing in until it's out of reach for Denver. So give me Kansas City. The Saturday night game really doesn't mean shit. And it's the Cowboys and Eagles. Because Eagles, best ca you know, best case, you stay the sixth seed. Worst case, you're the seventh seed if you lose. Whatever happens with the Niners and Saints games, respectively. Dallas, you can't really move up to the one seed because you did lose to Arizona. But even I said I don't expect Dallas to get the one seed anyway because Green Bay is just too good of a team. Um, personally... I am taking my Cowboys because, you know, if you've been a part of this channel long enough, you know, you pick your team to win the game. Um, so I'm picking Dallas. But would I be surprised if Dallas rested their starters this Saturday? I would not. Um, personally, I would say if you're not a fan of either of these teams, you should pick the Eagles only because of the fact of I think they won't rest as many starters just so they can hold on to the sixth seed. Dallas is best case even if they win. They would have to hope the Rams lose, the Cardinals lose, and the Bucks lose so they can at least be the two seed. I don't see that happening. Dallas will probably be the fourth seed. So I just see rest of the players, but I'm still taking the Cowboys anyway. Um, the Sunday games. I had the Steelers over Baltimore. Baltimore's too banged up. Everybody knows this is Big Ben's last season at this point. They're going to try to at least get, let him get a walk-off win so he can walk up into the sunset. I don't know if they'll make the playoffs. Depending what happens, but in my picks, I don't see that happening. But I say congratulations to Big Ben. Enjoy the retirement. Please retire. Because right now you're starting to look like Undertaker versus Bill Goldblatt at Saudi Arabia. Bad. Um, moving on to Bengals and Browns. I'm going to take the Bengals here. I don't think they're starting in um, Dalton. I'm not, not, not going to say Andy Dalton. That shows you where my mind is today. It's been a rough day. I don't think they're starting Joe Burrow from what I read. I might be wrong on that. Sorry, I needed to drink a Mountain Dew Voodoo. Um, but Browns have said they're not going to start Baker Mayfield, so I'm going to take the Bengals there. Uh, my lock of the week is Packers over the Lions. 
even though I think Green Bay is not really going to have Aaron Rodgers play the whole game, it's Detroit. Green Bay is going to want to make a statement win. We've seen teams in the past who've gone in the one seed, leave their starters in to make a statement. So I think that's what the Packers would do here. Uh, my upset pick, though. I have the Bears over the Vikings. You know, Vikings are favored, and neither team's playing for much. I think Chicago's like, hey, we want to show we're building towards something. But the funny thing is, I think they would be better off starting Andy Dalton or Nick Foles because they've actually won more games with them than they have with their rookie. But I think that's because he was uh, pushed out of the oven too quick. It should have been left in the oven a little bit longer. Uh, by the way, next week, hopefully, we'll be able to do the picks on Madden. It would be nice, but we shall see. Um, up next, Washington against the Giants. We can confirm that, hey, Washington will be having their new logo and name in February, so we'll see how that goes there. And I know someone's like, you haven't talked about AB. We're going to get to that when we get to the Bucks game. Uh, Colts and Jags, give me the Colts. I think they bounce back, lock up a playoff spot because of that dangerous running game. Jags are just tanking to get the first pick in the draft. Uh, Titans and Texans. Titans one will get that one to lock up the one seed this weekend. I expect them to do so, beating the Texans. Who played a little bit better than I thought they would this year. Uh, Saints, Falcons. I got the Saints. Um, I think their defense is good. You know, they got a good running game. Their quarterback situation is god awfully bad, um, which is good for Winston in the sense of, hey, you, you, you're going to be. Probably getting wanting to be re-signed this so you since they were doing good with you. The other quarterbacks they've been using have not been five star classics. Um, Bills and Jets, give me the Bills. You know, they want to win the division. They can kind of get the one seed if things go their way. I doubt that will happen. Um, so give me the Bills. Uh, Rams and 49ers. Dave, I got some bad news, man. I am picking the Rams here. I think the Rams, they want to get that division locked up. They do not want to be a road team in the playoffs. Um, so I expect them to win it. Yes, I know the hypothetical. If they tie, they both get in. I don't see the Rams wanting to do that. So I do apologize, Dave. I have the Saints going in over you because the Rams want that division. Um, Patriots, Dolphins. I got the Patriots. Dolphins, I think if... Bittersweet, I think if they would have been able to beat the Titans, they, this game might have meant a little bit more. But, eh, give me the Patriots. Cardinals, Seahawks. I got the Cardinals, so I think they'll bounce back. They're going to want to try to compete this because since them and the Rams play at both at the same time, they're going to want to compete as such so they can win the division. Good. What is funny is they've been a better road team than a home team this year. Bucks pay at this first thing first. Antonio Brown, you are the dumbass of the week. No, no, no. You are the dumbass of the year. What the hell is wrong with you? I hope you don't get ever, I hope, Antonio Brown, you never get a chance to play again in the league. You should have because of how you acted. But somebody's going to sign you because, oh, he's got talent. I think we need to come to a point to where talent does not matter when the person has a problems. But unfortunately, that's not how the world works at all in life. So, there's that. But give me the bucks to beat the Panthers. This gives me to the Sunday night game, Raiders Chargers. Winner goes to playoffs. Loser misses it. Chargers have been up and down all year. Raiders, we've heard me talk about it if you've been on this channel long enough. That they have had a lot of issues off the field between Chucky, the two players in question. Then, of course, this past weekend, oh, one of your players got arrested for drunken bullshit. But baby steps, you know. He's young. He, he ain't as bad as the other two. I got to give him that. Um, and then, of course, young Madden passing away. So you have a lot of things beyond your control. But I think you use the Madden situation, John Madden passing to as momentum to help you beat the Colts because you did dedicate that game to him. And I think they're dedicating the rest of the season and in if they make the playoffs to him. With all the shit that the Raiders have gone through. And you just got to think, maybe they're the team of destiny because of all the shit they've had to put up with. So, as much as normally I've been high on the Chargers because I do like them. I think they got a good quarterback. I think they got the defense is okay. But I think the Raiders, just all they've gone through, I am taking the Raiders to win and secure the last spot in the AFC. So here are my picks for this week. I'd love to know what your opinions are, why you disagree with me or agree with me. I have the Chiefs, Cowboys, Steelers, Bengals, Packers, Bears, Washington, Colts, Titans, Saints, Bills, Rams, Patriots, Cardinals, Buccaneers, and those Raiders getting a win this week. Um, by the way, I will say this. 
I will give out my awards for the season for best and worst next week. Um, tune in for that when we do our wild card picks. Until then, have a good night. Stay safe out in the snow because it's snowing tonight and this weekend in Virginia, so be safe. Bye-bye, everybody.